Scientific Theory versus Scientific Law It is important to understand the similarities and differences between a scientific theory and a scientific law. Both scientific theories and scientific laws describe something that has been observed in nature. They both require many observations and experiments, and they both must be accepted by the majority of the scientific community. However, scientific theories are not laws, and they are not treated the same as laws. Unlike a theory where evidence changes, a law will never change. In science, a theory is a widely accepted explanation supported by abundant scientific evidence. Theories are not just ideas or guesses about how something works, and theories are not just opinions about a concept. For science to prove a theory, scientists must conduct extensive tests and experiments. A theory must be supported by tremendous amounts of scientific evidence, and it must go through peer review and retesting. Even if a theory is proven, it is subject to change in the light of new evidence. This is the best way for science to evolve and change. In this way, scientists can use theories to build upon the evidence and ideas of other great minds. One good example of a theory that has evolved over time is Newtonian mechanics, first theorized by Isaac Newton in the 1600s. This theory explained the movement of objects, both on Earth and in space. Using Isaac Newton's work, Albert Einstein perfected the theory, renaming it the Theory of Special Relativity. Einstein's new theory put a twist on the Newtonian theory, allowing us to measure objects in reference to space and time. Einstein even upgraded his special relativity theory to a more current version that we use today, the theory of general relativity. Scientific laws are different from scientific theories. A scientific law is a description of a fact that is completely accepted in the scientific community. A scientific law does not change, and if it is refuted, not only does the law become false, but all science that was based on that law also becomes false. Laws state that something in the natural world happens, but they do not necessarily explain how or why. The law of gravity, for instance, states that all objects have a force of attraction for each other. This law explains what happens, but not how it works or why. Theories attempt to explain the how and why. When trying to decide if something is a scientific law or scientific theory, ask yourself this question. Does it explain what happens, or does it explain how and why something happens? If it explains what happens, you are talking about a law. If it explains how or why something happens, you are talking about a theory.